everybody, this is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, coming to you with another episode of Multi-Section Monday, where every Monday I showcase a particular multi-section that we have right here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Monday, I'm bringing to you the Platinum Cottages, Ellie May. Now, before we get started, if this floor plan looks very, very familiar to you, it probably does because if you've watched my Lula May video, it's the exact same floor plan, but I listen to your comments. I listen to the changes that you would like to customize to the home, the materials you would like to upgrade to, and I and Recreational Resort Cottages have teamed up with Platinum Cottages and brought to you the Ellie May. And it starts here on the exterior. If you look at the decking, it's not treated lumber like the Lula made. It is composite Trex decking with a 25 year warranty. You do not have to stain, you do not have to maintain this decking at all. Next, the exterior siding. On the Lula made, you have vinyl siding. For those of you that did not like the vinyl siding, we brought James Hardy board, cement board siding with a 25 year warranty. You don't have to worry about termites eating through your walls. You do not have to worry about weather environments, anything like that. The characteristics are endless on this siding for you. And next, the roof. The shingled roof is what you get in the Lula May. We've upgraded to a 30 year warranty metal roof in the Ellie May. You cannot beat that. So basically the outside of the home for 25 to 30 years, you just let it do its thing and you sit back and enjoy it. And as you can see, one of the lovely features of the floor plan is the dual entry. So you have one going into your kitchen. If you gotta carry those groceries in real quick, you just go right in there. And then the other right into your living area. But I can sit here and talk about the exterior all day and the upgrades that we've made to the Ellie May. But let's go inside. You guys follow me inside and show you what else we've done to make this home so special and so unique for you guys. Follow me right in. As you can see, we did not cut any corners when it comes to quality in the Platinum Cottages Ellie May. It starts right here in the interior where we listen to you and I heard you when you said you would like vaulted ceilings. You did not want the flat ceilings in the Lula May. Guess what? We brought you vaulted ceilings and not only did we do that, we brought you a tray ceiling. Tray ceiling in the living area with terrestrial windows to bring in the natural light. We've kept the farmhouse aesthetic in the interior, but we've also added stained hickory into the tray ceiling to give a nice focal point, a beautiful accent when any guest or even you come home at the end of the day, you walk in, you say, man, this looks good. I'm so glad I went to Mr. Tiny and got the new Ellie Mae because I love coming home and looking at these features. But also, we went ahead and threw the ship lap on the wall here in the living area and we've also listened to you when you said that you wanted to add things like a fireplace. We did not put one in this model, but you can if you wanted to. You can put one right there on the main wall. And also in the Lula Main, there was a built-in entertainment center. We've removed that to give more space for those out there who wanted a fireplace there or was complaining that their TV was too big for that space. So guess what? Put a hundred inch on there. If you want, you've got enough space to make it happen. Another thing that's important, in ceiling venting. We have in ceiling venting in the Ellie May. No floor venting in these homes, in the Platinum Cottages, all in ceiling. And also we put LED can lights throughout, everything top of the line. Even your baseboards and trim is painted Southern yellow pine. You cannot beat this. I can talk about it on and on and on, but you can sit here and you can see in this video, this is quality and you can see here with the great open concept it flows right into the dining area you see right here you've got plenty of space you've got windows around so you can look out onto the porch you can sit there hey billy what's going on man you doing all right you enjoying those baby back ribs that i cooked up on the grill hey you can conversate with them right here converse with everybody you've got windows bringing in the light throughout the home making it open and airy and you've got enough space right here to you can bring the table from the last supper up in here but 
Speaking of the Last Supper, you might not even need to bring the table because you got the Last Supper Island right here. I mean, look at this. Look how big this is, guys. Look at this kitchen. For those cooks out there, this is where you want to be. Look at the storage space. You have, I can't even count how many cabinets. You probably got 25, 30 cabinets in your kitchen, including additional cabinet space in the island. The island, you can sit four people at least right there, guys. It is so great, but it's so lovely because it's still open. You have the open kitchen flowing into the dining area, to the living area, everything. Beautiful pendant lights. And I know you see that Mr. Tiny added another tray ceiling. You know, we the, the kitchen felt bad. And we, we said, you know what? We want to go ahead and add another tray ceiling with the correctory windows up above with even shiplap on the walls to make that farmhouse style come to life. You can see right here, we've added pendant lights here over the kitchen sink. We went with the stainless steel farm sink. More windows up above. You've got even this shelving here, giving a beautiful farmhouse aesthetic going up there. And again, like I said, the entry from the outside or your uh, exit there to the porch, whichever way you want to do it. But we've also went with the stainless steel appliances throughout. Plenty, I, can, I keep talking about the cabinets, but guys, I can't get past them. You keep going, more that you see, more that you get. We've also had this built in uh, space here for the side-by-side -side refrigerator with ice in the door, plenty of cabinets around, and you flow right here to your butler's pantry. We even have additional shelving here for you that you can put your uh, canned goods, cereals, whatever you'd like, and I already know somebody's gonna say it, so I'm gonna say it first. Yes, you can put a door right here, so those of you that just wanna throw your stuff in there, don't wanna have it all nice and neat like this, we can put a door there for you, and that way you can hide it out of sight, out of mind. And also, speaking of out of sight, out of mind, look back here at your laundry space. You've got space right here for your wash machine and dryer. You also have an exterior door that you can go to the back of the home at right here. And also, you have additional space here. You can put pl any, plenty of things here. You can put storage. You can put, I know a lot of people want to put a deep freeze fridge, extra fridge, whatever you need right here for more food. Cause this is a big house so you probably got a big family. And you got the space to do it right here. But you guys follow me back through and you'll see here, look at this, look at this. These amenities are endless when it comes to this home. The farmhouse style is so beautiful. It is so open, it is so airy. And you see the open concept here. And you guys follow me back. And the open concept keeps going on and on. You'll see here that we've got everything that you need. And speaking of everything that you need, we've thrown in a desk for you as well. So for your kids, they got their nice homework space. For those of you that may work from home, you've got your designated area to do so. You have additional shelving there as well. And for those of you, I know you're already going to say it. What about Mr. Tiny if I don't want a desk? Well, guess what? This is customizable, guys. Remove the desk. You can leave that space open. You can add, you put another door here, close it up, make it another storage space. Put some more cabinets here, whatever you would like to do. Because guess what? We're making it customizable to you. That's why this is the Ellie main. You can do those things too. And speaking of room right here, you have the first guest room. You'll see here, Great size space. You can fit a king size bed in here with ease. It's perfect. Got right here your closet. You'll see here every interior door in this home, by the way, southern yellow pine. We painted it white. No hollow doors in here. That's the difference. That's the upgrading quality you get with the Ellie May. Also, the shelving, real wood shelving, rod and shelves made of wood here as well. You guys follow me back through. And we'll come right over here and we will see the guest bathroom. You see right here, we've got additional storage space here. We've got beautiful shiplap accent on the walls. We've got the tub shower combo, so it's great for kids. If you got young ones that need to take a bath, you can do so here. We also have additional storage space here to the side as well. And you guys follow me right through and I'll take you to the other guest room right across here and again 
enough space for you to fit a king size bed. You can do that, you got a window bringing in the natural light. Again, another closet here, but enough about the guest rooms. I know what you came for. I know you came for the master bedroom. So you can follow me right back here and you'll see what I'm about to show you behind here is where you're probably going to stay for the majority of the time in the Ellie Mae. This is the master bedroom. You guys follow me back and look, we talk about fit king size beds in the guest bedrooms. Well, California King, how about you can put two or three in here and make it happen in the Ellie Mae. We've added transom windows, bringing in natural light. Your wall right here, ship light. You've got additional windows here. We have your master closet. Again, same floor plan as the Lula Mae. So I'll show you here the master closet again. You've got enough space in there for hanging clothes, uh, additional storage up top. But I know you didn't come here for the closet. I know you want to see the master bag. And guess what? This might be the price is right because we got the door number one right here and you're gonna see what we have to offer. You see right here, what Bob Barker used to say, come on down, because the price is right, Bobby. You see right here, this is the master bath to the Ellie Mae. You've got the standalone tub, windows right there, so you can look back and gaze outside and think about how lovely it is that you came to Recreational Resort Cottages and purchased the Ellie Mae from Mr. Tiny. Also, we have additional storage space here. We have the raised sinks great farmhouse aesthetic that you're getting but don't let me forget this shower this is what everybody likes we went with the tile shower it has a nice marble finish to it with the ceramic tile it gives a nice marble look and you have the built-in uh, niche right here for your soaps shampoos whatever you need you've got the faucet here but this is the one that everybody loves the rain shower faucet you can just sit right here turn it on and just sit back and enjoy the time in here. Splash glass so you don't have to worry about splashing onto your beautiful floor. And you guys follow me back through and I'll show you why this Ellie Mae is the home that you need to have. You even got your toilet over here out of the way. There's a space for everything in this home. Follow me back through and look, this, I, it feels like a mansion in here is what it feels like. Cause look how big this is. Bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, desk. And here we go back into the beautiful living area. You see how big this is? This is crazy how much room you have in the LA May. This is a beautiful home, beautiful farmhouse. And follow me back to the kitchen because this is my favorite part. So this is where I want to end the video, in the kitchen. This home, before I finish, is 30 feet in width. It is 66 feet in length. And this home is on sale right now at Recreational Resort Cottages for $160,000. Yes, $160,000. This home, if you were to build this, I don't have to tell you, if you were to site build this home, you're going to be looking at two fifty, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000. And you know that's true. But one sixty dollars is what you get this home for at Recreational Resort Cottages. It is more expensive than the Lulamay, but I feel like I have shown you the reason why throughout this home that you're going to get with this Platinum Cottages Ellie May. So I want to have you come by anytime Recreational Resort Cottages, ask for Mr. Tiny, ask how you can get the Ellie May. And I want to thank you for tuning in to another Multi-Section Monday with me, Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next Multi-Section Monday.